Welcome everyone, this is Mike Frazier from Gaikoku Gamers Bite Size. Having with you for today a short preview of NHL 15. The demo just released on Xbox uh, Live Marketplace as well, probably I believe as well as on the PS4 uh, PSN store. So, get right down to it. TV will swing in and we'll start with the action. I have to say, I've been very impressed with the two offerings so far from EA Sports. Uh, Madden 15 was very solid, very fun and uh, definitely improved a lot on their past outings with the Madden series and this is still the same with N NHL 15 even though you know again with the ESHL league taken out this game uh, is very solid gameplay is fast and furious just like it should be in hockey graphics are phenomenal and the NBC studio style broadcast fits well into their uh, showing this year of, of the NHL franchise this is the first time the NHL franchise has been on the next-gen consoles. They skipped out last year so they can work on improving uh, the game for the next-gen consoles. And it definitely paid off, I think. Even though this is just a demo, you got two teams to play with. The uh, Stanley Cup teams, NHL, us, the NHL Rangers, the New York Rangers, and the Los Angeles Kings. And you, and you can play one three-period uh, game, and I think you can also do practice as well. Uh, the uh, full game for EA... Access members will be released five days prior to the release of uh, NHL 15, which is September 9th. And then I'll come back with a full review for the game itself. But as far as, as previews go and demos go, it's very well done. It's, it gives you a good feel of what the game's going to be like playing the season and, and uh, really gets you in on the action. It's fast-paced, like I said, like, like hockey should be. And the attention to detail is phenomenal. The player models look great. The jerseys and lighting is amazing. The arenas look very nice. Um, the crowd is very diverse. Like I said, they have over 9,000 people in the crowd at once. And so you, I don't remember I've seen any uh, same faces when the camera pans through the crowd. Uh, that being said, though, some of the crowd animations seems a little stiff. And a little clunky, but it's still cool. I, this is just a demo, so that may be fixed up in the final release version. But it's still cool to see crowd reactions. Uh, you know, the crazy person in the crowd with the face paint on are all dolled up for the game. And it works really, really well. Uh, the broadcast style presentation with Mike Emmerich and uh, Eddie Olchek works phenomenal. They green screen them and put the actual game behind them when, when they start the broadcast, which I think works better than having the CG likenesses like they did in Madden. That's still, even a Madden 15, that still does not <laughs> look good at all. Uh, it's definitely implemented better than I thought it was going to be, and uh, I'm just hoping that it's not the same canned uh, video sequence per game. I was worried about that when they have the actual uh, opening to the game itself when you go in and it shows the outer shot of the city that, that, that you're being played. And for the home game, I was wondering if it would actually be the same clip for every time, say, if you're at the New York Rangers, you'd see the same little opening video segment. But actually, in the demo, I, I noticed uh, a couple of different ones being used, so which is good. It kind of kind of instills my faith that they've, they've mixed things up a bit for that prospect of the game. It's so not too much to say about the gameplay. I mean, the gameplay's NHL. It's definitely improved with the skating. You can actually... Uh, see the momentum physics in action and actually feel the difference of with each skater you use and it's and it's definitely not where you can just drive up the ice and stop on a dime there's actually momentum physics involved and you really have to plan out your your on ice attacks when uh, when moving up the ice puck plays well off the boards it actually feels like a real puck being uh, shot shot around a rink and i really commend them for th that type of attention to detail it's definitely a strong outing again for EA Sports. Uh, next on the list for their sporting titles would be FIFA Four, uh, sorry FIFA 15, which comes out shortly, and I'll def definitely be here previewing and reviewing that game. So on September 9th, <laughs> it's going to be a tough choice of uh, what one to play first, Destiny or NHL 15. But if this is in any indication where the sports lineups are going with EA Sports, it's definitely a huge improvement over the uh, last generation titles, and it's really good show for EA on the next generation consoles. Can they keep momentum going with FIFA 15? Let's hope so. And uh, yeah, NBA Live will be coming out shortly as well. I'm kind of curious to see how they're doing on that, just for the fact that uh, they've done the whole uh, 
face scanning and uh, jersey and equipment scanning. So the graphic in that should be beefed up compared to NA, uh, NBA Live 40, which was a total disaster. And hopefully they get the sound in that game proper. But with NGL 15, if you're excited for the game, definitely be. It's a worthwhile pickup, and I can't wait to review the full game. Again, this is Mike from Gaikoku Gamers and Bite Sized.